Hello, and welcome to more Ter Terra Nil as we continue on the volcanic glacier here. And, um, you know, tried a little bit of it here. The volcanic glacier is very interesting. Um, normally, we're used to changing global parameters up and just, you know, you just want to keep them getting higher and higher and higher. Um, here, in this scenario, you need to be very careful because there's one biome restoration that happens before you change too much of the um, the the ecological um, climate conditions, and then you kind of need to do it up and then down to meet all the requirements. So, all right. So, first thing we need to do here is it's all going to start with seismic detonators. Because it's all about the lava. So we're just going to go kaboom. And there's a lot of polluted snow here. Polluted snow is not very helpful. So if we can get the snow to melt, that would be good. Now, w one nice thing here. Oh, it's all... It keeps flowing. Very cool. Alright. So these detonators. We're gonna need that. Hmm. It's not a lot of high ground here. Be that as it may. I'm gonna go for that. There we go. Keep detonating. Let's see. That detonator. Get that going a little more. And then... Let's see if it'll fill in the rest here. Okay. Got beautiful, beautiful lava here. That's kind of the... Can't go on the little spark tile, but... Can... As long as we get it somewhat on there. Here, and... There we go. We're starting... We're putting up the temperature... This is going to be our base power resource. And, ooh. We're good. Now, hold up. I wanted this to be in a very specific configuration so I can get a lovely little lava flow. There we are. All right. We do want to try to get the snow to melt. That would be actually kind of cool. We're going to go here. Raising the temperature. We're going to come here for a moment. Again, we also need to purify the water. And we're also lowering the toxins, too. So... Let's try that. That will be beautiful. Clean up that water. Again, buy us a little more. Oh, beautiful. That to clean that up. Oh, we probably wanted to do that after it melted, but we'll, we'll wait. Actually get some melting. Um, let's see. 
maybe kind of there. Get that cleared up. Get that cleared up. Their detonator, I think, was there. And there we go. Get that snow to melt. That is going to help us. Now when we do our restoration projects, it'll all get clear. Because all that is dirty snow. It's not helping us doing nothing good for us. Let's keep doing that. Snow is melting. All right. Keep doing that. We're just going to keep trying to decontaminate here. And yeah, that looks good. Store that. Obviously, right near the lava edges. It's not. It's gonna get burnt. Okay, that's a good spot. Let's keep restoring. Let's see. Let's do that. Go there. Uh, we'll try a little restoration there. Try that. Let's see. Let's go for more detoxification. Store that. Also, more hydration. Allowing for a burn. We're not quite needing a burn yet. Yes. Do want to lower toxins in the soil. Very much so.
good restoration. Getting close here. That is lovely. Let's see. Getting that there. That there. That's probably about as good as we can do on that. There we go. All right. Now it's to biome restoration. And this gets more complex now. This can do out. So here, as you see, as toxicity gets slower, that's there. But this is the amount of moisture. So the more moisture there is, there's a problem. We need to get a good amount of tundra going. We can only do this on really high areas. Look at how beautiful that was. And do the tundra right there. I think we're going to maybe need to do this here. Put that there. Start the toxins rubbing game. Kind of here, yes. Lunch there. Much lower in toxins. Very good. Tate, tate. Do that. Rotate, 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 rotate. And there we go. Isn't that beautiful? And now we can come here. There we go. That's enough Tundra. Now we need to look here. So, for moss on boulders, butterflies, okay. The toxicity is fine. This is, this will do cooling. This will allow us to make new hills. But ideally, we won't need that. So, now we need to start looking at... Yeah, that's cooling. We don't want to do cooling yet. We need to look at growing the amount of, essentially, moisture we have. But once we do that, realize we really can't get back here easily. So... Uh, one thing we do want to make sure that we do is when we do this, we recognize that we're, you know, not necessarily coming back from that. Um, and so we want to ensure that when we do it, we're doing, you know, what, what we want to be doing. Um... That can depends on how much ash we want to put down. So, um, so we're gonna see, you know, possibly about making a huge amount of forest around this area. So we're going to click on that and. There. Oh, it's got to do it on the tundra. 
we've got to burn Tundra. And that's... I'm going to go ahead and do that while I have the option to do that. To do that, again, anything we can do. A little more temperature. This is going to do a lot. We're going to need whole swaths of forest. Very good. And I think we can do that. Because we're going to need forest, and those are rocks. Rocks we're going to do from cool lava. That's a lot of birds. Okay. Still have enough tundra. going to do that. Let's do that. Very good. We still need warmer temperatures to 15 degrees. So there come butterflies, more nutritious soil, We can rejigger those, so. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that because that puts it right back to ash, which means we can do that. And now we're at plus 19. So now we really need to go for moisture. All right. What are we going to do as far as everything else goes? Uh, okay. So there, that's about getting it cold again. Moss, it's got to be less than 15. For this ivy overgrowth. So we need to go for moisture right now. This is our moisture time. Although... 
don't know if I quite want to go that big. I actually may want to limit it only to six fewer. Just five. Let's see here. It's just two, one, three actually might be the right. And then maybe. Maybe we need some sort of detonation. I don't think that'll necessarily do it. I'm just gonna do that to try to expand how much lava gets elsewhere. Okay. Well, let's see. Also gonna need this. Actually want to do that kinda like here. And then do that. that. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Perfectly good with that. Too close to another cloud cedar. It's fine. See there. Keep that. Kind of that way. water. I don't necessarily need ash there.
There we go. That's that 70% hydro. Now we want to start cooling things. So cool lava and range forming rocks. Big thing to note, if we take out a lava source, a source of lava, that's a source of lava god. Which may not be such a big deal now, but you know. All right. Let's start doing that. Start cooling. And yep. Let's see. What else? Can kind of be done here. All right. So that's where we get the lichen to grow. We need a lot of lichen. Um, There we go. Keep getting that. More of that happening. Double cooling there. That running. I'm going to do that. Cooling. A little more like it. that. There we go. We've got the lichen. The next thing we need to do is start putting stuff back in the ocean. Can we do that with these? And we can build them on top of the lichen. It will not harm the lichen. Here. And so this is an activated ability. We target these and we're just like, let's do some kelp. All right. And there we go. Building this rail network. Getting the kelp. Still to go. Oh, 
We'll keep working on this kelp. And we'll do that. That's going to have to be there. We're still going to need to as much as possible. There we go. Oh. Maybe it does hurt it slightly. Yeah, it does. Okay. to kind of get up here for an irrigator. Or All we need to do is do that. There we go. Restored. Time to recycle. And now, before we do a lot of that... Let's think about this here. Want to get the temperature down to negative five. How are we going to do that? All right. We do have these things which can Freeze. So. There we go. Icebergs starting to form. And one more flash freezer. Which is going to be to do snowfall. Best to do it. Oh, there we go. All right, we've now got snowfall. That should help. Clean snow.
Animal Observatory. Let's put right there. There we go. Boreal Forest. Oh, we got the Aurora for all the cleanness. We've got a Snowy Owl. Camouflaged in the snow. It's got tundra, but it also needs snow. It's not enough snow. Okay, maybe we come back to that. Cold ocean. Partially met, sufficiently low temperature, four ice, 20 ocean tiles. Okay, it needs to be even colder, maybe? There we go. Got the penguins. Not enough snow. There we go. Got polar bears. Not cold enough. So, I think we're going to have to come here. Flash freezer. Maybe go like that. And then I'm here. There we go. Arctic fox. Enough snow. And then here, I think. There we go. Narwhal. Got them all. All right. Now we're just on pure cleanup duty. Well, that's not big enough to support our endeavor. But this place is. It's on our line. Have the rock mover. Let's see. Okay, I think we need to continue the line. Okay. We need to keep pulling that bit. Go engineering silo. A 
Now there's a pole there. We didn't pull that pole out. We're gonna need to essentially connect that beacon. go to make sure that happens. Okay, that will get that one. Pull that. You pull that. You pull that. Pull that. get that and that and that that gets it There's anything else. Very good. All restored. Toxicity of 1%. We basically got all the toxins out. We got it nice and cold. I like it. All the animals there. We are good to go. And the snowfall will take care of the little bit that's left. We've got the animals back. Wasteland fully reclaimed. And don't these, you know, like, rock, the lichen rocks look beautiful with the, kind of like the forest there. The aurora. That's a nice touch, just that wonderful visual coming across. Beautiful. Again, so relaxing. Back to the world map we go. There we go. More progress. And now we come over here from the polar region to the continental. And we've got a whole other thing with a flooded city. But that's for next time. So I want to say thank you very much for joining me and be seeing you.